Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called STP Uplink FAST. The Uplink FAST feature bypasses the listening and learning state for alternate ports in case the root port goes down for faster convergence. Usually the spanning tree protocol takes about 30 seconds to converge. Keep in mind that the port does not have to go into blocking state since it keeps receiving superior BPDUs with the root bridge. With uplink fast enable, the port will transition into the forwarding state in under 5 seconds. Uplink fast should be configured only on access layer switches and not on the core or distribution layer switches. Uplink FAST works only when the directly connected primary link goes down. When the primary link from the root switch to the access layer switch went down, the access layer switch detected the loss of connectivity and transmitted dummy multicast packets of all the downstream MAC addresses that it knew about to the blocked upstream switches in order to update their CAM tables with the new switching route. It should be pointed out that uplink fast increases bridge priority values on all VLANs to 49,152 and increases all the port calls by 3000 in order to prevent the access layer switch from becoming the root bridge. Now let's bring up all the links from the root switch to the access layer switch and see how long it takes the interfaces to go into the forwarding state. The spanning tree uplink fast command Configure uplink fast on the entire switch. Cisco Packet Tracer was created for CCNA students and does not possess the ability to simulate more advanced commands such as uplink fast on its virtual switches. But by the magic of video manipulation, I'm going to cheat in order to display what you might expect to see if it did support the command. First, let's pretend we have just configured the access layer switch with uplink fav. Next, we'll shut down the link between the root switch and the access layer switch and see how long it takes for the link from the backup switch and access layer switch to come up. It took less than one second. If the link between the root switch and the access layer switch comes up again, it will take about 35 seconds before it becomes the primary link again. It took about 30 seconds for the switches configured with standard spanning tree to converge, but the switches were uplink fast took less than a second. Uplink FAST has been shown to be a useful tool in mission critical networks where connectivity is an extremely important factor. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.